this video, we're going to slide our tan dips. I pull my ear button and my pin go back in. Now I'm going to get in the trap and I'm going to I'm going to reverse on onto the tan dip. So reversing on the tan dip, I'm going to bring the trailer wheel forward. Okay. So we'll put the camera a little bit back because we're not going to come this close. Let's get in the trap dip. Okay, so we reverse on it. We can see what one we're in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So let's put. Let's look on the line. To get a good start, you want to put your tandem under the blast pallet or whatever you have on the truck. Okay. So so far, uh, tandem is there. We're here. So this is good. Now, I'm going to go ahead, push my pin on, and then I'm going to go in the truck and go forward, and I'm going to switch in one of those holes. So, I'll show you that. Alright, so I have a pin based on where the load is in, in the truck, in the trailer. So I have a pin in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, because the load is all the way back there and the, the back kind of wheel is underneath the load. So that's pretty good for a base start. Uh, so when you go through like a weight station, you're not that bad, too far off. But to get this correct, you got to go on a scale and weigh your truck and then you slide it in the upper rear. But as a base start, this is a good base start. Okay, so now it's time to rock and roll. If you're not driving a manual transmission, you're not driving a truck. Here we go.